the casting is so genius that everybody who's coming in has such a strong personality that if they're saying, well, you know, it's Albert Brooks, you're like, okay, well, I get it then. <laughs> I mean, we're all playing a character, but um, the joy is bringing yourself to that character. So the tone is set very clearly because the caliber of the performer, the, the tone is set really clearly because the caliber of the performers is so high and, um, and so specific. Gidget really likes to watch her, her, um, her stories, as they say, her telenovelas, um, which I think is really funny because she definitely is a dog that if she speaks any language, she speaks English. But she loves those, you know, Univision soaps. She loves them. She loves the big makeup. She loves the passion. And that's sort of our first clue into how deep she runs. You know, she doesn't just want to sit and watch, you know, the people's court or whatever. She wants to watch people taking risks, putting their hearts on the line, and just feeling the flames of that passion. She feels that dogs are, um, you know, the superior pet. And she thinks it's a joy to be one. And um, she also doesn't draw lines. She's just like looking at another animal and being like, come on, be a dog. But also, I think she, she thinks it's about the attitudes that dogs have. It's not just, you know, that, you know, dogs are dogs and they have dog bodies and, and they're dogs. It's, um, it's about their hearts and, um, and their emotional makeup and, and their loyalty. That's, what, that's why she thinks they're the best. And I don't think she's wrong. I think that Gidget is um, at once enthralled and completely comfortable with her um, crush on Max. And I think that no way is she existing with this daily heartbreak. She just loves to even see him, you know? Catching a glimpse of him is just like a, a beautiful breeze flowing in her window. You know, she just, she just likes that he's there. She doesn't really want much more than that. But when she finds out that he's not there anymore and that he's missing, she really realizes that it's not just that he's kind of a delight for her, or that he makes her little heart sort of thump faster. She really loves him with all of her heart, as she says. And suddenly she realizes that it's very, very important to get him back into her life.